Hi there, Claire here. And I just wanted to come in um, today in case you are feeling anxious. Um, I know that there have been times in my life where my anxiety has been off the scale and I've actually recently been going through um, a time that felt very much like that. And so I wanted to come in and I wanted to say that, first of all, don't forget that whatever you're going through at the moment, everything moves on, everything changes. What you're feeling whilst you feel like you're stuck in it right now and that there's perhaps no way out, perhaps it feels hopeless, it's not. It will always move on, so give it a chance. Allow it to happen. Try to take your focus away from what's happening. I know, again, I get it, I know that's really hard. But if you can, distract yourself, um, you know, find something else that's empowering to focus on rather than the problem in hand. The thing is, whilst um, life will come at us, often it's not possible to change our life conditions. We're just gonna have to just let that happen, let it go, let it do what, what it's gonna do. We can't control other people, we can't control other things. You know, we may be able to influence them to a degree, but we can't control it. So let's not try, let's not cling on to trying to control what's going on in the outside world and causing ourselves even more stress. Let's focus more on what we can control. One thing we certainly can control is what's going on in our inner world, our own inner world. And what's really important is what we're focusing on at any one moment in time, because what we focus on is what we feel we feel in our bodies and don't get me wrong you know sort of it's so much easier to change focus and everything when you're you know in a good place and you haven't got things to worry about but let's face it life is always going to throw that shite at you so you know kind of whilst we can have these great times when we're feeling really happy and everything's going beautifully and flow we're going to get tested so Today, all I wanted to do was a quick exercise with you just to change your focus in the moment so that it can give your body a little bit of relief from <laughs> what's going on, um, you know, and as I say, just know that I completely understand, um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about some of the rather uh, profound things that have happened to me, um, you know, my, my daughter's been very ill, my house has burnt down, you know, there's lots and lots of things whereby I can go on to... Um, help you to see that I completely understand how it feels to be in the thick of it and to feel like you haven't got the energy to get yourself out of the problem that you grin, okay? But let's for today just take the opportunity to just think about get, taking back control, even if it's just for a few minutes at a time in the moment. Change what you're focusing on. Remember, as I say, what you focus on is your life. You know, you create your life out of how you choose to see things. The perspective that you put on things can change something that is awful into something that actually is a lesson for the future. And wow, I can really make my life so much better now. I know that. Yeah. So let's start with something that hopefully will be, um, you know, a relatively simple exercise for you to do just to calm your body. Now, this is really for people who, like me, when you're feeling anxious, um, I feel it as butterflies in my stomach. Um, but I would imagine that you can do this, you know, sort of if you've got um, other ways that your body reacts, a tight chest, throat, for example, just do the exercise, but replace it with, you know, sort of what I was saying about um, my stomach and the butterflies in my stomach, that can be replaced with something that applies to you, all right? So let's start and just know that we're gonna change focus first of all. And one of the great ways to do that is to concentrate on your breath. And I know that you've heard that before, but it really does start to take you away from all of the whirly, whirly, whirly in your head down to something simple, present in the moment. Because everything we worry about is either something that's happened in the past or some worry that we think is going to happen in the future. So let's just keep ourselves nice and present in this present moment. So let's close our eyes. Okay, close your eyes now. And let's first concentrate on the breath. So we're going to take a deep breath in.
calm. Breathe out the anxiety and the stress. It all goes, blow it all out, release it all. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Now I want you to imagine the feeling in your stomach, the butterflies in your stomach. I want you to visualize those butterflies fluttering around in your stomach. Continue to breathe deeply in and out. And as you see those butterflies, I want you to see them as a group, a group of butterflies. They're all in a ball and they're all floating around, and they're, but they're stuck in a ball in your stomach. And now what I want you to do is I want you to move the butterflies and I want you to move them outside of you. Bring them forward so they're sitting there fluttering in front of your stomach. They're no longer in you. You can see them fluttering there. Just watch them. And you can feel that your stomach no longer feels anxious. Those feelings are completely gone. And now we're going to take another deep breath. And this time, we're going to breathe in a soft white light. A soft white light in a calm. And that's going to float all around your body starting from your nose and just gently floating through the whole of your body, quite light of inner calm. Let's breathe it in. And as you breathe out, you breathe out, blow away any remaining butterflies. Let's blow them away. Start to blow them away from in front of you so that they fly off. Breathe in again the white calming light that relaxes your whole body. You feel your shoulders relax, you feel your arms relax, you feel your stomach and torso and legs, and they all are now relaxed. And as you breathe out, you blow away the remaining butterflies and they fly away. And as you now feel the calm filling your body, you start to feel completely still. There is an inner peace that's floating around your body and you can feel it calming your nervous system, relaxing your blood pressure. All is well. And as you sit there, you're now going to ask yourself a question. It's in relation to the problem that you have. But instead of looking at in the way you have, you're gonna ask yourself this. What is good about this situation? What is good about what is happening or what's happened? Search your mind and find the answers. You're going to refocus this situation to something good. Perhaps you've learned a valuable lesson from what has happened. Perhaps you've grown in some way that will benefit you or your family. Perhaps you now appreciate something, perhaps the little things in life that perhaps you didn't appreciate before and you have your level of gratitude for those things is so much more. Perhaps what has happened has allowed you to simplify your life. Perhaps it has taught you to let go. Let go of the control. Just be. Perhaps you have discovered a new appreciation for something. 
Well, perhaps it's something else. Ask yourself, what is good about this situation? What is good about what has happened? Find your answers now. And once you have your answers, bring yourself back to focus upon what is good in any moment that you are feeling like you're failing or falling into a hopeless situation again or you're out of control. Just take yourself back to the place where you focus on what you can control, which is your perspective, what you believe about the situation. So whilst this is only one tool, please do use it to give yourself some relief. There is always a good reason for what's happening. You know, everything changes and honestly, I bet you, you'll look back on this and be grateful for what's happened. I know it doesn't feel like it now, but I bet you will. And you're strong. You know, you've got some inner strength there and I know that you can make it through. So give your body, give yourself some relief and give yourself some tools to help you through. And don't forget, ask for help, ask for support, share what's going on so that other people can help you too. Okay. Much love. Sending you all my love. And I'll speak to you soon.